So sit your ass down here, then stop trying to walk around everywhere. This fool. Oh shit, I'm recording. I didn't even know that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, as you can see from the title of this vid, today I'm going to be talking about what it was like to be a black woman in Greece abroad for two months studying. And, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, so, as many of you, or as y'all who follow me know, I had, I, this past summer I studied abroad in Greece. Um, I was doing a social justice program uh, about like just basically how to um, bring two different populations together specifically. I could go into detail about it but y'all would probably get bored and like not bored but you would you need a lot of context about it so I'm not gonna get too deep, too deep about it just know that we were abroad um, doing social justice work. So the first thing that I am I'm, I'm gonna start with are like my overall like learnings and observations that I received from like being in Greece. So these are just more general that don't really pertain to black women specifically, but some of the points that I make might be what I experienced because I was a black woman. So I'm gonna just go through this list of notes that I was taking like over the summer for like things that I just saw and learned. One of them was that um, everywhere I went, Greek women were very fascinated by my hair. Even Greek men, too. Like, a, a lot of the time, like, I would walk into, like, a, a bakery shop. And, like, this woman, she'd be like, she would just, like, look at me and be like, Oh, my God, your hair. I'm just like, oh, yeah, thank you. And then they'd be like, oh, can we touch? I'd be like, yes, go ahead. Like, you can touch it. Most of the time... People didn't ask, but there were a select few who did ask, and they loved my hair. And a lot of people would ask, like, is it dreads? Like, is it real? Is it fake? Like, they would actually ask, like, is it real? And, like, in, in America, like, most women wouldn't just be like, oh my god, is your hair real? Because, like, that's, that's kind of, like, sensitive, you know, like, that's rude, kind of, in America. But in Greece, they're very blunt, very direct, very straightforward. Like, they will ask you whatever they want to know about you. Which is what I loved about Greece. Because, like, I just lo love, like, having that attitude and, like, being around people who were like that, it was ten times better than being in the States, in that sense. This pertains to being a black woman, specifically. Um, personally, myself and the, the other black people in the group, everywhere that we went in Greece, we felt like we were on display. And I'm going to be speaking just for, just for myself and the things that I experienced, but... Most of the places that I went to, whether it was at nighttime and I was going to get some ice cream, gelato, or if it was like during lunchtime and I was going to go get some pizza or some pasta, everywhere I would walk, I could feel people's eyes like turning their heads to look at me. They would look at me, they'd stare at me for prolonged amounts of time. And it's not like here in the US where like it's rude to stare. In Greece, they'll stare at you like, like n nobody's business. Like nobody will, like, it's normal. I don't know if it's normal, but it's, like, not weird. Like, they would always be staring at me, like, looking at me, like, looking at me from head to toe. Like, I remember one day, um, it was, not, it was nighttime, so one night, I guess, I wore leggings to go out to just, like, walk around the placa, like, the square. And, um, everybody was, like, staring at me, and I was like, why is, like, not, like, everybody was staring at me more than usual and I was like why is everyone staring at me and it was because I was wearing leggings and I guess in Greece I don't think it's normal to like wear leggings so they probably thought I was like naked or something I don't know but because like obviously when you wear leggings it's like skin tight like you can't really see like I don't know it, it I think it was just weird to them but like something like that like just things that they aren't used to to like stare at you really hard and I think just a lot of Greek people hadn't seen a, or like haven't seen like a, a dark black skinned woman and like people would always come up to be and like touch my skin and be like oh you're so beautiful you know oh my god wow you're so gorgeous you know things like that so that was an interesting experience um let's see when we went to um we went to this um in the States, you probably call it a trailer park, but it was more of a, we call it a, a community or, or like a camp settlement for one of the group, groups of people who we were working with to try and bridge um, the difference between them and like just Greek people in general. And we, we went to one of their settlement camps 
and um, all the kids were so obsessed with my hair. They were playing with it. They were pulling it, like yanking it. I was like, damn! But they were like, you know, like so intrigued. Like I remember one of the little girls, I didn't speak Greek and she didn't speak English, but she looked at me and she was like, you know? And I think she was asking me, she was like, like, is that like your skin? Like, or is that like something that you like painted on? Because I was so dark and I don't think she'd ever seen like a person that dark in her life before. So that was like, it was an experience for her and for me. So I just, I got used to it obviously over the two months, but like it was definitely an experience that took a long time to get used to. So some of my other observations in Greece. Mm, so Greek people just stay out really late in general. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but like they just stay out so late, like till like 11, like kids will just be out running around all over the parks like old people are just smoking drinking chatting like that is what I miss about it too just like being able to go out and go clubbing and you know like buy wine if I want to just like hang out and chill and that's that was a lot of like what I saw almost every single night out in Greece and that was just cool just the culture is just so different it's so different um, another thing that I found was that, um, Greece, like, or just Greek, uh, emergency response times are very different from the U.S. Like, for example, um, there was one night that we went out and one of our, um, classmates got really drunk, so we had to call the ambulance because he wasn't being, like, that responsive. So, the ambulance took, like, 15 minutes and it came, and it wasn't even the ambulance that was there for us. It was for a different person who was having, like, a heart attack or something. So then we waited like another 20 minutes and then the ambulance finally came. And it was crazy because like the entire time that we were waiting, like if we were in America, like we would have like had an ambulance in like five minutes like that. But like in Greece, I don't know like if it's like lack of resources or just like a different, I don't know, just like a different way of life. But like it took forever for the ambulance to come. So that was an interesting experience again. And also too, like while we were waiting, um, the people there were so nice and so kind like we met so many people that day like we were just all like people would like offer chairs like bread and water and they all just like tried to help us and see if we were okay to see if our our classmate was okay and that was something that um, is unparalleled it's just like how nice and kind that most of the Greek people are and that was that was a really um, cool thing to be a part of just like yeah seeing everybody just be so kind and nice to us foreigners. Um, I think a lot of people ask like were there any difficulties while being in Greece? I think some difficult part obviously was like with the staring and the hair touching and all that because like it, it takes a while to get used to but there was like a couple nights where the people who who I was with got into altercations like almost physically one time I, I had to stand in between um one of my classmates and this other gentleman who was like saying some like derogatory things like saying fuck your mom fuck you like fuck your girlfriend to um one of my guy friends but like crazy shit went down that night like people were just calling just like calling shit to us like cursing at us like just yelling shit so there was like a couple nights where those kind of things happened but I think it's, it's just because we're foreigners like they were drunk, like, we're easy targets, like, we can't speak the language, we don't have a lot of resources or, like, connections in Greece, so they just took advantage of that and, like, tried to make us feel like shit, but, I mean, that was, like, probably the most difficult thing, was dealing with those insults, whether they were, like, out loud or quiet, because, like, yeah, but, I mean, let's see, what else can I say about, just, I think, being... A uh, black woman in Greece is an experience. You didn't, you you don't see very many black people in Greece to start off with, like especially um in like less urban areas. Like we stayed in Athens for a month, and then we stayed in Nafplio for a month. And in Nafplio, there weren't very many black people at all. So like when I saw a black sister, I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, girl?" Or like you know, like, "Hey, what's up?" And like I could usually tell that they're American or whatever or like if they're African like actually I met some Gambians while I was there and I spoke a little Wolof which was kinda cool so like yeah I mean what was I talking about oh yeah so there weren't a, a or I guess there just aren't a lot of black people there so the Greek people that I encountered were very like observant and very curious like that and I'm sure like 
they'll be talking about me for like years to come. Like, do you remember that one girl who came in here? She was so dark, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so that was funny. I think, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's so harmless. Like, they're just curious. Like, they just don't know a lot. So it was, it was nice to, to be that person, to just be nice and friendly and to show them. Um, I think it was funny, actually, um, we were on the beach in Crete, actually, and this one gentleman asked me to take a picture with his kid. And I was like, okay, and like, I, I walked up and he, like, I was wearing my swimsuit and everything and we took a picture, like, we hugged and he was like, oh, thank you, thank you. I was like, damn, like, am I Rihanna or Beyonce? Like, shit. And I think, honestly, it was because I'm black and my hair, like, they thought I was like a freaking celebrity. It was so funny. Like, so, I mean, yeah, but you d it's, I think everybody should go to Greece in their lifetime, especially if you're from America, because it'll really open your eyes to like what, to like the different, just like ways of, I don't know, living. So yeah, go to Greece. It's amazing. It's fun. I don't know if I would live there, but I would definitely vacation there again. So yeah, that's all I got to say about that. But thanks guys for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. I, I know that I can get like kind of jumbled around sometimes in how I speak. So please just comment below if you have any specific questions and yeah, I can let you know. But um, as far as like where I stayed in Greece, uh, so we stayed in Athens, we stayed in Nafplio, we visited Mykonos, we visited, we didn't visit Santorini. Um, we went to this really cute guy just snapped at me, y'all, my heart just jumped. Ooh, shit, okay. So we visited the, the island of Egina, the town of, or, yeah, we stayed in the town of Nafplio, we visited Athens, um, we went to the to Hydra and Spetses, which were beautiful, oh my gosh. We went to Crete and Mykonos, so yeah. That's it for Greece, this uh, video about Greece, but y'all know what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'm signing off. See y'all later!